Hello everyone, this is Panda. So, what laptop am I still using as of 2022? It's the same laptop that I was using the year before that, the same laptop that I was using the year before that year, the year before that year, and the year before that year. This is the new Lenovo Y700. It's been modified. Display has been upgraded. RAM from hybrid drives to SSDs. The original hard drive that comes with it is not very good. And also, I increased the RAM to 24 gigabytes worth. Now, it can go to max 32, which is still great for a laptop at this uh, current age. But let me tell you the whole cycle of this beauty. And I want you to see what I've done to the back. Look at that. I got the audio wireless plugged up with a USB type C converter adapter to USB 3.0 multiple hard drives one terabyte I got a 480 here and a terabyte here I also got a SD card reader or SD card slot or CFAS card slot and micro SD card slot and I'm using some very nice velcro that I feature on my YouTube channel so just putting that out there it's a very good brand and literally sticks <laughs> but as you can see here's the anchor four port, two, four port hub 3.0 and right here is the live well VD live 10 from Comic Con Audio And this is what I do when I'm not editing audio. This is what I do with the system when I'm actually doing conference calls, uh, Zoom calls, or playing Apex. We've just been playing Apex and I've been winning every single game. I'm just bored now. <laughs> but this is the Y700 laptop. Now I did modify it and these are my custom modification stickers. So it does support, support a 960M Gigabyte 2 and still pay Apex Legends with a i7-6700HQ perfectly. Now I do use some applications to actually perform it a little bit better like NVIDIA Inspector. That's one for overclocking, but what I also use is the Intel Extreme Tuning Latility. And right now I have it at a negative 100 uh, cord voltage set offset. And if you guys don't know about doubt, how can I explain this? If you guys don't know about not overclocking the CPU, but instead of overclocking, you're kind of downscaling the CPU in safe mode. You really want the CPU to last a very long time. Trust me, I used to overclock CPUs a lot in my day. And when I first got the CPU, it was great. And then after maybe two years, you saw some difficulties with the CPU trying to keep up. So overclocking is not the best. So with that said, here is my Logic Tech G602 lab, uh, laptop mouse. I programmed this for multiple things for Lightroom, for uh, Photoshop. I also program it for Adventure Dissolve. And this is what I communicate with the new live system. So I use this when I'm actually gaming. It's really tiny and really small. Really nice, actually. But yeah, this is my this is my editing laptop. This is my gaming laptop. This is my consulting laptop, and it's been doing a punch. As you can see, I got terabyte here. 
and here it's just a really good setup if you guys want to see the setup again look at that boom that is sick right yeah that's that's listen I'm not about like oh clean aesthetics no I'm, I'm, I want people to know it's like I'm serious about my laptop game <laughs> I want people to know, but with that said, everyone, thank you for watching. This is my Renovo Y700 2022 update. I just blew your minds away what this laptop can do. After how long has it been out for now? Five years now? Boom! Still editing 4K video. No problems. Goes to show you that some people are not taking care of their laptops like they should. Seriously, but with that said, everyone, appreciate the the love and guys, literate. Appreciate the love from the community here on YouTube. My my subscriber count grew a little bit there, almost five thousand. But you know what? Just hitting four thousand just made it even buttery. <laughs> but just want to show you what I'm doing right now, and get the light in. Oh, look at that. The lighting. Not showing you no uncut stuff. This is how ghetto we get. <laughs> but this is my laptop, guys. This is the workstation. This is the gaming laptop. This is where I take care of business. <laughs> and having multiple SSDs and the ports. And then I don't need to necessarily need to use this SSD when I don't have to. But if I need to transfer, I can without using other accessories that I normally use for live stream, like setting up a two a two camera setup. I wouldn't use this. What I would do is use the primary drives that I already have installed, and then transfer that video file into this later on without attaching the USB or which I mean I'm using USB 3.0 to actually convert to. HDMI, so yeah, and it works very well actually. So, this is my laptop, the Y700. I am officially the, 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 the legend of the Y700 League of Gamers and enthusiasts. Look at how clean I keep my laptop. Don't mind that, that's just a smirk problem. But the trick is, guys. Wanna know my trick in keeping it so clean? Doctor Squash soap. Cause it has no chemical. So the 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 finish on the Y seven hundred stays natural because there's no chemical in the soap. Hmm. So with that said everyone, you've been educated. <laughs> yeah. I I figured it out on a lot of laptops I used to have back in the day that had the same kind of texture and feel and I realized Kamaku Sofe soap is not that great but with that said everyone this is Panda this is the Y700 update please do subscribe like and share if you guys love the laptop setup as a business consultant that's what I do phones going off you can see the audio setup. Ready to have conference calls on the live. Yeah. This is what we do. Digital no man. Most people don't even know that term. It's pretty sad. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.